Hi guys, everybody, Simon here again. So, don't play games with Thai bar girls, part two. <laughs> Nothing to do with Patea, yeah, honestly. I'll just try something else on my camera, different backdrop look almost. I've put my Canon GT G7X on top of my tripod uh, with my selfie stick in between, so it's like metering a bit off the ground, a bit wonky, but yeah, not bad. Great tripod. So, now, in the previous one, we mentioned about the guys uh, playing the games with the girls um, and how the girls reacted when the guys actually spoke Thai and re the girls realised that they weren't newbies. Now, I, again, I've seen this a couple of times happen, and it can get a bit more serious, where guys go into a bar, and I hope you don't do this because it's, it's dodgy, um, and you've had a few drinks, you know, there's a few of you maybe, and they want a bit of a laugh. So they're going to go into a bar, and they say, right, Let's find the ugliest girl and chat her up. Um, yeah. Now, you've got to remember these girls in the bars are working. And when it's thin on the ground and there's no customers, the. Uh, and a guy comes in, or several guys, and if you are potentially not. A pretty girl um, and you get chatted up things things can go wrong now I saw this firsthand so one of my girls she wasn't the prettiest she was quite smart uh, excellent at you know the little games they play on the bar things you know the connect four and Jenga and I think it was about seven or eight guys come in and they were they were reasonably drunk and a couple of them made a beeline for this girl and I thought at the time I was I, I was sat at the back of the bar playing around on the music and I, I was only a few feet away but I could hear and yes they're chatting the girl up pretending to be single guys looking for a girlfriend partner companion and they asked this girl how much money it would cost for her companionship let's say now if you ask a Thai bar girl a price for something like that that girl's going to assume rec quite rightly that great I've got a customer there's some money going to come in here can buy my food. You can see where this is going. It builds their hopes up and it gives them a nice feeling. So when the guys turned around and laughed and said, no, we're only joking, we're not interested, you can imagine the disappointment and the reaction now some girls might not, as I said, now similar in the other vlog, might react and just walk away, lose face. This girl lost face because there, there was no customers in the bar at the time, just this group of lads. Plus the other girls sort of were higher up the pecking order than her. Uh, for her to lose face in this way was not good at all. Really not good. Um... And she, um, very well controlled, she just sort of quietly, she didn't, didn't react like that I would thought she would have reacted and just moved away to another table and turned her back on the boys. Um, this is playing girl, uh, games with the bar girls, it's not good. So, what's different? You go to the point where you talk money, it's going over the line a bit. 
But the thing is, as these guys left the bar, this girl um, decided to go out of the bar. I take it for, I thought maybe she's going to get some food um, or something. And I didn't think anything of it, just turned around and carried on with my music until about 40 seconds, 30 seconds later, suddenly heard a lot of shouting down the road. Um, and the girls in my bar shot out the front and down the road towards the beach. And I thought, what on earth is happening? Stepped out of the bar and um, this girl, she didn't want to lose face in the bar with the other girls. She was actually attacking these guys. I think it was with a broom from the bar. But because she'd gone out of the bar and she was having a go at these guys, all my other girls had gone out and joined in. So they were all attacking these poor guys because of the playing the games in the bar. It's losing face again. It's just, you know, you just don't play those games. You have to understand if you're gonna make someone lose, it's embarrassing someone. You wouldn't like it. So don't ask prices unless you intend, 90% of you in your mind is intending on moving forward with some sort of partnership. Um, don't go down the price. Uh, don't go on prices. Don't do it. Hmm. Yeah. And instead of me doing another vlog, I'm gonna add on to this one. <laughs> one thing a lot of guys uh, who live in Thailand, who maybe do the bar scene, they learn how to handle girls and things when they're going in bars. Now, I don't go into, obviously, I'm married, happily married, and uh, when I go away, when I'm in Thailand at my house and I go away for the weekend, I still like going to places like Hua Hin, Charam, Phuket. I like going into the bars because I like to have a drink. But I'm not there for girls. I'm not going there for girls, no intention. Now I learned this little trick years ago and it was people coming in my bar that were regulars um, or they'd just been in Thailand a long time. If, it, if you go into a bar and don't say one word, um, just point at the barmaid, barman, at the drink you want. Don't speak, don't say anything. Point at the drink, get the drink, go to the corner of the bar or the front what I tend to do is I'll whisper to the barman or barmaid at Heineken, whatever, and I'll go and sit. I like sitting in some of the bars, especially if they're near the beach and people watching. I love it, but I want to be left alone. So I'll wh whisper to, or I'll point at the drink and go and sit in the corner, front of the bar, wherever, and just don't talk. The girls, they don't know they can't make their minds up who you are, what you are. Are you a number one, number ten? They'll leave you alone a bit and they'll just like sit back and watch. And I don't want to be bothered by the girls. I don't really want to talk to the bar girls when I'm on holiday or if I'm, you know, away for the weekend. I just want to be a people watch, watch some sports. Peace and quiet. Fantastic. So I learned this off guys who, who were living in Thailand, who were going around the bars. If you don't speak at all, uh, the girls will leave you alone. However, if they do come up to you and start quizzing you and talk, trying to talk to you, they're trying to work out what number you are, don't speak. Just, I mean, I just sort of point to my mouth. I'm not saying, look, I'm, uh, I'm disabled, I can't speak or anything like this, I, I'm mute. I'm just like, you know, I don't want to talk, just go away. Just and that'll work most of the time. But sometimes you'll get that persistent one. And if you do, and then you start speaking to her, because they might, they sometimes take it the wrong way. You've done nothing wrong, I'm there. 
I don't want to spit, you know. And she'll come up and she'll push, 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 dig, dig at me. And I'm like, please, I don't want to speak. I want peace and quiet. And she, has she lost face? But she can rear up on you. I've had a girl rear up on me for that. And I wasn't playing the game. But guys do go into the bar and play the game where they're sort of, I can't, you know, I've got a problem or whatever. And they don't speak. And then after 10 minutes or so, they start speaking. Then the girls react again. So, there's so many little games that guys try and play. Have you got some games that you play in the in the bars? Have you had a reaction? What's happened? Uh, come on, put the stories underneath. So, playing games with the Thai girls. I don't mean the Jenga and the, the, the Connect Four and things. I mean, playing mind games. That would have been a better, better title, probably. Play in mind games with the girls. Be careful. You can seriously end up in hospital if you're not careful. Those guys that came into my bar and the girl went after them with the broom and the other girls joined in, it got quite vicious. I mean, those guys, luckily, they ran in the end. But when I poked my head out the front of the bar and watched them, I'm like, oh, I've just lost seven customers now. Um, you know, they're not going to come back again. So, yeah, mind games with the girls, don't do it. I bet you've got some great stories, some of you. I bet that's ringing a bell with some of you, what, what you've done, little tricks and things. Mm. So, top advice, if you're asking for price, make sure you have a good reason. Don't go playing a game and asking for price, because you could get a broom over your head. <laughs> Yeah, good job there was nothing lying around the bar. She could have, if there was an axe there, she might have gone down there with an axe and that would have been a hard one to explain. Hmm. Anyway, there we go. I'm sure that's the end now of the of the bar girl scene and Patea and videos, okay? Maybe. I'll see you next time. Bye for now. <laughs>